All right, so been uh, playing a lot of my VK seventy two oh one K, loving it, absolutely loving it. And uh, this is just one of the games that really shows how fun it can be. And I probably don't have this plugged in right. Oh no, I can hear sound. Looking at the teams, I got a really nice forge platoon. Um, some dead weight at the top, but uh, that's generally what you get. All the other team, blue guy, some green, not too much noticeable. In this tank, I don't feel like going to the bridge, so I'm heading over to the. Uh, south side to play around with all that fun stuff. Yeah, I gotta say, oh, the, that's my mouth, there you go. Very lovely tank, look at that. Beautiful 200 some armor on the front, even the lower glacius, that entire bit is like 200 some. With the angling, I think it's like 200 and 30 armor on the lower and probably like 240 or so on the upper with angles. Not sure though. The uh, weakness of this of course is side scraping since there's parts on the side of the uh, turret. Uh, I can't uh, show you with a mouse but um, right about Somewhere between the insignia and the mantlet, I believe it's a weak spot, along with down underneath the turret, that armor, that circular, I hear that's pretty weak as well. Now this tank, um, it's gun. Average pen is pretty low on the HE, but that's fine. Average damage of four, 950. The AP, however, average pin of 235, so that's really low for a tier 10. And I don't see him. And the gold round, 334, uh, so it just doesn't have a lot of pin at all. Um, you're looking at, like, what are the other tier 10s like? They're like uh, 250 or something sexy like that. Oh, this is beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, look at that. Boom. High roll on that AMX. I took out his commander and I think I damaged like the turret. And he just got taken out. And there's nothing else to shoot over here. No bother uh, staying make a comment about how sexy that RNG was. Jack Panzer is behind the hill, no work, no use trying to shoot him. They're not pushing out because we got a nice defending line, so it's time to move up and see what shots I can get in. I really want to hit the AMX, but then I see, hey, hey there sexy. Wait for him to turn so I have a good shot on the side of the turret. Could have done a little bit more damage, I think, but um, because of the angling. But since it has so low armor on the turret, I don't think that mattered that much for RNG purposes. I don't want to bother shooting the IS-7. He has too much armor in the turret. But I know there's easier targets. Kind of annoying where I am is as soon as that guy pulls even the, an inch forward he's blocking every shot I have. 95, uh, the E5 is like, oh yeah, I'm gonna take that side shot. Does full damage. So now it's just, you know, peeking, poking, seeing what kind of damage I can do. I think I still have a HE round loaded. 
So I'm just gonna go and just blast him. Sadly, it hit the turret and not the uh, chassis. It would have probably done another maybe 100 damage. But you can see with HE targeting the right tanks, I can get damage in on this a lot better than bouncing every other shot with uh, AP rounds. At some point soon, I'm going to switch to gold rounds instead. That wasn't worth the shot on the D5. If he stayed out a little bit longer, I would have taken it. And uh, hopefully tried to hit him in the track. So uh, at this point, let me just pause it. And Every one of us, look at this, we're all just tense, ready to push out as soon as someone makes the move. 57 probably has a full clip. The um, 50B probably has a full clip. Just all these tanks are just waiting for someone to make a move. And I'm, I'm just poking. And I, I'm not going to spot anyone until I get my barrel around that corner. That was the 50B who spotted the 57. Or, oh, no, it was us proxy lining. So I'm not bothering. I gotta take it real nice and slow. I don't want to have my front of my tank exposed without being able to uh, dish back any kind of damage. You can just see by the way that everyone's positioned is like they're ready to make a push. And you know what? I'm gonna take the hits. I have the health pool. I can do it. Hit him in the track. And get every single damn shot he takes. I get uh, experience for him. I back off just to go and uh, wait for reloads and whatnot. Gold clip right into the uh, commander's hatch. Now you can see that everyone's moving up. I have enough health, so I'm just going to pull around that corner, take the shot, and just let everyone else come around. I think that was, yeah, that was an HG shell that I fired. But it tracked him, let me get the uh, track damage in, so I got that extra experience. And it made that tank die. So all in all, it was worth taking the shot. Gotta say, I love this right here. Critical hit. Damage or uh, balance, what kind of round, you fired it. I love it. I was gonna try to take that uh, foul skill, but it just didn't happen. I looked there for a second to see if I could shoot the batch hat. Just not worth it. This thing has such a slow reload. I think he was shooting at my turret. I think I shoot over the 50. No, I hit the ground instead. I see he hit me, so I tried to angle the most armor. That's the front. I have a HE loaded if I remember right, so I'm just trying to go and get a track shot or something in there. Critical hit. And I do. Sadly, no one gets to go and put rounds into him while he's uh, stuck there. And I'm switching go to gold in case I get to go and fight the Jag. But uh, he died way too fast. Look at this, like, sweet, I'm gonna take out like all of his health. And I completely miss him. I still have gold loaded. Like, oh, okay, I'll just wait for you to. Never mind. <laughs> really good game. Really nice to go and play with people who take advantage of what you do for them. Check a tank, you know, side on, they, you know, shoot that tank instead of the tank that's a bit easier to, I mean, harder to pin. When you push out, they push out with you to take advantage of the enemy team shooting at you. I see the bat chat. 
Don't see him there. Zoom over. Perfect Enemy lead. Went straight into the middle of his side. And there you go. I love the tank. It's um just biggest thing. Mostly gold on it. I mean not gold, but uh gold and HE biggest factors for this tank. AP I think it's just rubbish. You have to aim too much and you lose too many possible shots. Especially since it doesn't feel like it has enough accuracy to know that you got those shots in. Uh, equipment I currently have on it is um a rammer, vertical stabilizer, and binox. Um a lot of times I'm just gonna like sit still and see if I can spot anything with binox. Hopefully another heavy tank is probably the thing that I want to spot the most often. Um, since it's a tier 10, has 400 view range, it's not hampered by the view range, so it's better than you know most tier 8s, tier 9s, and equal par with other tier 10s. So with the binox added, and if I'm in like you know an ambush position, I'm going to spot the tank first and get the first shot off. And since that shot's probably, hopefully, going to be, you know, 700 instead of like 200, I'll be able to kick his ass. No, nope. uh, thanks for watching. I hope uh, you like that. I'm going to go upload, I think, the game that I got my ace tanker in. Really sexy. Going to show it to you later.